Good morning, good morning, Facebook. Um, just a, a quick note, if you saw my Facebook stories, you'll see that my desk in my new office isn't put together yet because the whole thing got delivered, but they forgot to put screws and bolts and instructions. So I'm on my knees and my laptop's on a chair right now <laughs> so I can do this. So my point is never, never wait for the ideal moment or you just don't go, right? So, all right. So this morning, if you saw my headline, is network marketing a scam? Ah, oh, did she say it? Yes, I said it. Yes, I'm going there. I've heard this for so long, so many times. And you know what? There's going to be people that you will never, ever, ever convince otherwise if that is their thought in their mind. And that's okay. That is generally okay. But I just felt compelled to um, to talk about this this morning. I heard it recently on a podcast and I was like, yes, this is good stuff. I've got to tell my people. So is network marketing scam? Now, I think most people say that because they at one point tried it, tried it for like, I don't know, a day, 30 days, heck, maybe even six months and it didn't work. Why is it not successful well if you've ever owned a business and okay here's the thing most people that join network marketing companies aren't really entrepreneurial right so they don't know that if you had a brick and mortar business it would take you easily three to five years before you even made a profit okay and you've got like six figures on the line so I get network marketing is the easiest, most entry level way for people to get their feet wet and you're not entrepreneurial and blah, blah, blah. And if you don't see six figures in 30 days, you're out, right? Okay, so why am I most not successful? Well, first I'm gonna ask you to define success. What does success look like for you? Some people think, oh, network marketing, like I said, if you're not making six, seven figures in like a really short period of time, it just doesn't work, it's not successful. Well, guess what? Most people don't want that. There's like maybe three to five percent of the population that want to come in and make big, big money. Most people just want to make five hundred, a thousand dollars a month to supplement. Like it's a little side hustle, y'all. It's not like this big thing that they want to replace their job. Yeah, some do, but most don't. Most just want a few extra bucks, take the pressure off. So to find success, most people are making. 500 a month, 1,000 a month, they're successful, okay? Most people also want to do this because, well, I'm going to say they want to, but they find out and why they stay is because the personal development and the growth mindset attitude. Most of us stopped learning when we left school, whether that was high school or college a bajillion years ago if you're my age, right? So when I first got into this business and I saw personal development, Honestly, my first reaction was, I ain't got time for that, and I don't need it. <laughs> it's so funny right now that I think back, yeah, I needed it. Um, so, yes, personal development. So most people that are in you know, the team or the organization love it because of the personal growth, and, and you just become better in all areas of your life, not just business savvy stuff, but relationships um, with your spouse, with your children. Heck, even if you've got an outside job in an office, you just get along better with people at work and you, you just learn dynamics better with all this personal growth and heck, I'm a better mom and I'm a better wife and I'm, I'm just like a better person because of it. So very little, three to five percent, want the thousands a month. Most are content with just 500 to a thousand. And I, and I don't say just lightly, that's life changing money to some. It can make the difference between making your car payment or mortgage payment or, you know, paying for food that month. So please, I don't mean to take that lightly when I say just. Um, most people also are content with the community. Y'all, like this is, the community aspect is just right up there with the personal development. You're surrounded by other people trying to be better at whatever. Um, so you've got a tribe, you've got a tribe of like-minded people. And if you're not surrounded by like-minded people who are pushing you to be better, not always financially, but just wanting better for you instead of putting you down like most of um, stuff you just see on social media. Everybody's like sarcastic and putting people down. Like, let's lift each other up, okay? So we've got personal development. We've got growth mindset. We've got a sense of community. We've got your tribe. Um, and another top reason, most people just want the benefit, the discount of the product. So I'm in the healthcare industry. 
love, love, love. My background is personal training. I had my own brick and mortar group fitness personal training studio. So I know the amount of hours and money it took to do that and run that and the risk of a lease and salary and employees and insurances, blah, 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 blah. So to be able to do this online and help more people, no geographical boundaries and help them achieve so much healthier, more energetic lives, y'all to me, that's just, that's just, that's perfection. So most people do it for a discount on the products. Okay. Well, that's another reason I shouldn't say most, that's just another benefit, another reason. So if that's your defining parameters for success, is network marketing a scam, right? Um, another thing I'm gonna say, if you wanna go with, yeah, it's a scam, are restaurants a scam? Heck, how many restaurants do you know open and then shut within like a year or two? Like, yo, the restaurant industry is hard. Um, drop me a comment if you know that. Like I know plenty of people who are opening, shutting, opening, shutting restaurants when it doesn't work and they're not making millions, does that mean the restaurant industry is a scam? No, no, okay? How many kids are in Pop Warner? Uh, the football, right? When you're in school, my kids were in Pop Warner, whether it be football or cheerleading. Did they go on to be professional NFL players and cheerleaders? No. Does that mean Pop Warner is a scam? <gasps> no, no. You do it, you have fun, you give it your best shot. You, you get, what you want out of it and then you move on. And if, you know, so my point is, it's not a scam, but there are those of you who are going to think it is and I'm never gonna change your mind and that's fine, you're probably not even watching this. <laughs> so the biggest reason people walk away from this too is because of very, very low entry point, very low entry. I mean, there are some companies you can start your own business with like $40, I think that's ridiculous. Um, but it can go up to two thousand dollars and so that's a lot of money i'm not going to deny it's a lot of money but for starting your own business that's not a lot of money okay where are my brick and mortar owners drop a one if you know two thousand dollars to start open launch your own business is not a lot of money okay but it's still relatively little and again most come in at an entry level of maybe a few hundred dollars so if you're a little overwhelmed with the um, learning curve to take that, you know, you need to, to earn some money and, and what have you. Yes, you're gonna quit. Life gets hard, there's laundry to do, there's like meals to make, there's kids to shuffle, there's doctor's appointments to go to. And if you don't make back your investment in a month, most people are out. Most people don't have the tenacity and the staying power. Um, and that's a shame. That's a shame because it, you can't lose if you stay in it. Y'all, I've been in network marketing since 2000, in 10. 2010 is when I closed my fitness studio. I had a, the most amazing fitness studio. I can't even second guess whether I did the right thing of closing or not. Um, I loved it. Best thing I did, one of the best things I did in my life besides becoming a mother and marrying my husband. Um, but anyway, as soon as I closed my brick and mortar business, I got into network marketing 2010. So we're talking nine years, right? A little over nine years now. I'm still in it. I'm still in it. I'm gonna tell you, I'm not making six figures um, yet. I've had really, really, really great times, really great times where it's just like boom, 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 you know, earning free trips. And my husband and I have been on, I can't tell you how many free freaking cruises, okay? I don't even like cruises, but they're free, we go. Um, you know, I've gotten so many whatever monetary bonuses and I've done really, really well. And then I've had some months where I've not done well. I'm gonna be honest, it's not easy, but I'm here nine years later, okay? It's not a scam, you stay consistent um, and you just do you. I don't know what your goals are. Like I said, most people don't wanna make big bucks. Me, most people just wanna make just a little bit, um, but personal growth, personal development, discount on the best, most life-changing products ever. A tribe that lifts you up and encourages you to be better. And yeah. And that's, and that's it. That's all I have for today. And yay, I'm so glad the last time I did a live, it was set to um, private. And I was like, why the heck isn't anybody jumping on? But I made sure it was public. So thank you guys for hopping on. I appreciate it. Love you and have an awesome day.